What my Dragonflight Guild Bank looks like. Hi there, I'm going around and today we'll be taking a look at one of my stockpiled banks. Um, I have a couple already for, I guess, the other expansions on this character. I had to create another guild bank. Um, so this is my fresh guild bank and we're just going to take a look at how much I have stockpiled so far. It's honestly not much, but it's also quite a bit at the same time. Um, it's more, there's a lot of different items, so the bank filled up quickly, so I'm going to do something a little different next time. The thing I'm going to do next time is I have these two extra tabs here, and I can probably get a third one, and I'm just going to use those for Dragonflight materials. So I'm probably going to put something like gems and rousings in one tab, and meats in another tab, and then keep all my herbs or and leathers separate from everything else too, you know, just something like that. Anyways, let's take a look at what I've picked up so far. I have almost two stacks of Hawk and Bloom, which really means nothing. Same with the Silverite Ore, they basically mean nothing. I have almost a sack of the Gold Quality Silverite Ore and a little over half a stack of the Hawk and Bloom. I got a good amount of Rithbark, which Rithbark is selling for a pretty penny right now still. And I do expect it to go up on trades hit, so I'm going to hold on to it. Then we got our Saxifridge, or Fridge, or whatever. And it's selling for quite a bit more gold than what it was at the start. Um, so that's good to know. And then we got our Bubble Poppy. Um, Dra or Draconium War, which is tanking in price really badly. It was around 2-3 gold per unit, now it's under a gold. Um, you got your Kazgarite Ore, which I got a good amount of it, I'd say. I haven't seen this much yet, like on one character, so it's kind of nice to see. Uh, my shift isn't working, so we can't say how much that's worth, but then we've got the salt deposits and lava beetles, which those are really easy to obtain. You just get them from mining or herbalism, so nothing special there. And then we got our meats, which I did not realize the hornswog hunk is selling for as much as it is. My shift still is not working. Um, meats really aren't that important, you know, I'm not going to go over them really, you got your fish up here too. Then I got some enchanting materials, I don't remember where I got, honestly, so I might have to do something with those when I separate my guild banks a little bit better. Um, then our leathers don't have too much of those just because I didn't do a whole lot of skinning. I do have a good amount of the Wild Song plumage though, so that's nice to know. Same with the pristine Vorquin horn. Um, my gems, again, not really going to go over those. They're not worth anything, so not much need to actually go over them. And then last but not least, we got our rousings and elementals. Which, it looks like the Zelaric Glow Spores has dropped down in price. Only a gold, though, so I guess that's not as bad as I thought it was. Sold at 15 and didn't realize that it was 1597. Uh, we got a little bit of Rousing Decay, not much. I don't typically farm in the Azure Span or anywhere where the Decayed Herbs spawn. So that's kind of expected. Then our Rousing Fire, I got a good amount from, mostly from Mining. Actually, all from mining, I believe. And then Rousing Frost, all from picking up herbs. Rousing Earth from herbs and ore, because you can get Rousing Earth from the propagating seeds. I guess you can fire too, I think, so I'll have to pay attention to that. Uh, then we got our Rousing Iron, which I did not realize they are going for 62 gold per. Your Rousing Air, which went up in price, and then the Rousing Order, which I picked up a good amount of. I've been overloading a lot of those. 
Um, anytime I see one, I'll overload it. Sometimes I save my overload for them. Um, but here lately I've been overloading the Metamorphics and what is the other one? The Lambrian or something like that. I've been overloading those just because they seem to give more gold. But I'm not sure on that. Um, but yeah, that's my bank. I do plan on selling this after the new patch hits. Or not new patch, but the new raid hits. And the reason why is because all of this stuff should go up in price for a short time. Uh, but that's all for now. So thanks for watching. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.